Hi, Nancy Bird Priest here. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Here's all my contact information. Please take note of my Facebook business page and my YouTube channel. I Today we are going to create a card I cased from Danny Shinkfield. Um, it's a reverse back fold, and if you turn it over, it looks like a gate fold um, in, in part of it. Um, and it stands up. And I love cards that stand up. It's just so nice to give somebody something that's special. So we are going to create this today. I need a piece. I'm going to use um, Blackberry Bliss this time. Last time I used Crushed Curry. And I'm going to score it at three and an eighth. Five and three eighths. And then I'm going to take it out of my paper trimmer, flip it over, and do two and six and a half. And that's all I need to do. Now I'm going to fold this down, mountain fold. This one is going to be a mountain fold. Then I'm going to turn over. And this is going to be a mountain fold. And this is going to be a mountain fold. So when you get it done, it looks like this and it fits in your regular envelope. And it stands up. Isn't that cool? So now I'm going to use some more of that beautiful Autumn DSP, and I'm going to, these two pieces are the one and three quarter, one and three quarter by five and a quarter pieces, and I'm going to put those, and of course when I give it to the people that come to my classes, they get to decide what they want it to be. If they want them all to be face up, they can do that. And this side. And then this piece is the two. Now I could do it this way, have it in the middle. I'm choosing to do it opposite. Um, so that the saying, the sentiment really kind of stands out, but that is totally up to you how you choose to do it. Okay, so that's what we've got so far. Oops, my, my glue is moving a little there. Then you can take any kind of, um, I'm using some of the designer series paper, but you can use any paper you want. And I'm gonna add um, just a couple of leaves in here, just to add some pretty color. Uh, let me see, what else do I want? And I can even do it on this side. I'm gonna have lots of sayings and somebody's like, how can you cut up the paper? Because, you know, the paper's gorgeous, but I want to use it. And if I don't use it, it sits around, and that's just kind of goofy. So what I'm going to do is get a feel for it. I already stamped it in Blackberry Bliss. And this is that beautiful autumn. Uh, it was one of the first things that went right into my cart when I saw it, it's on page 36 and 37. It's called the Splendid Autumn Suite. The, I love the um, Grateful For You. Um, I love the paper. It's just really, really pretty. So I'm gonna get a sense on where this is gonna go, kind of in the middle. All right, so I'm gonna add a very light, and I mean light. Sometimes people get a little bit heavy handed with glue and you really don't need to. You just need to put just a little bit on. And I'm gonna have this kind of go here. Hold that down for a second. 
And then this one is going to come in. And I'm going to put that up a little bit so you can see it. Don't worry about that because we'll have that down. Okay, so that's pretty good. Then I'm going to put this color down. And I can have that go way down here. And I'm gonna have this little piece. I want it on the other side. And you know, sometimes I make stickers for my classes. I did not with our adhesive sheets because that eliminates choice. And I really want people to have choice. That's important to me. Now, instead of putting the dimensional on the back, I'm gonna just kind of put it here around. That way I know I'm not putting my dimensionals off my paper. Just quickly taking these papers off. Okay, I'm gonna lay this down. Position this where I want it. Did I need quite as big a circle? Maybe not, but I kind of like it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna add, these are those beautiful dots, and they have some really dark ones that I think are really pretty for this. And lots of different kinds, you know, different colors of the purple dots. I'll probably put one of each on here. Um, so golly gee. Which one do you like best? The last thing we're gonna do is put some white, which is two by five and a quarter, right back here. And that allows you to write a message. And there you go. Aren't those beautiful cards? Um, easy, really fancy. It's a fun fold and it's an easy fun fold, my favorite kind. So I hope you have a great day and I hope you try these cards. Have a good one.